uh, when I got pregnant, my husband was like, sayang naman yung mga followers mo on social media. Sabi niya, why don't you start blogging? So I blogged. I started blogging about what I was going through kasi it's being a first-time mom and everything. And then people were already asking la, how much is my rate to blog? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just new. I don't have followers. And they're like, on the blog, anyway, I mean, on social media, I have followers, but on the blog, wala pa masyado, konti lang. They're like, no, we'll pay you to to feature our food, our mommy food, or our ganyan. So, that's where it started. And when I got pregnant, I got more work blogging, and then people wanted me on YouTube, but hanggang ngayon, di ko pa masyadong maasikasa, so konti-konti lang yung nasa YouTube ko. So, yun. Um, Hanggang ngayon yun pa rin yung ginagawa ko. Social, uh, uh, blog, vlog when needed. And then Instagram is really popular. Facebook is really popular. So, yun. So, I'm still doing that now. Was it a conscious decision to have your mommy brand or you were just sharing your life? I didn't really... I was just sharing my life kasi I wanted parang them to know na this is what I'm going through. And for first-time moms, di sila nag And first-time moms who wanted na mga tips on what I do. Kasi people, I would post about it. Like, this is what I made for my son today. They're like, how did you make that? Can you vlog about that food that you made? Can you can you vlog about the, the utensils and the, the stuff where you bought it? So I was like, okay, sige, I'll, I'll do that. Hanggang sa nung, hanggang ganon. And then, uh, I started attending events as a, well, a co- influence, influencer tawag nila. Pero I don't want to call myself an influencer. Um, siguro content creator. Yeah, I have, so I started event, at any events na mga ganon and I got invited. So, naging parang part na siya, part na ako na hindi masyado sa mommy vlogging eh, or blogging eh. Uh, lifestyle. So, lifestyle, eh, everything. Everything naman talagang lifestyle. So, yun. I'm taking notes because I'm learning from you, no? I mean, I've, I've... I've really used Facebook as my primary platform for the longest time. But I saw, my gosh, your Instagram, 234,000 followers. Holy moly. Twitter, 107,000. On Instagram, I have 1,102. <laughs> Instagram Twitter, is really two. powerful. It's really powerful. I don't know how to use it. How, how did you build your Instagram to that big a number? I don't know. I just started posting stuff. Actually, late ako nag-Instagram. Super late. And nag-worry talaga ako na parang walang magpa-follow sa akin. Kasi first of all, wala naman ako sa TV. Hindi naman ako popular on TV na ngayon. Walang show, walang gano. So sabi ko, sino kaya mag-follow sa akin? Pero sabi, sabi ka sa akin ng mga friends ko, try mo na lang kasi meron ka namang followers. So bigla na lang siyang yun yun. Nakakatuwa. Kasi I mean, I'm so happy. Natutuwa talaga ako na parang Oh my gosh, na follow nila ako. So, and then totoo ako. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm going to ask you as a student, no? What do you use Facebook for? Let's delineate the platforms, no? Facebook, what do you use Facebook for primarily? To connect with my friends okay. and my family who's abroad because I'm the only one here. Actually, my mom and my dad are here kasi na-stuck sila dahil sa lockdown, but they are based in the states. So, um, I use it for that and to, to connect to my friends, family, and for information also. And then I do have a, a public account. That's where I post yung mga brands then. So, kasi brands sometime, sometimes ask for a, face, uh, uh, a public Facebook, Facebook account. So, I have that. I have around 19 or... Uh, no, I have 24,000 followers there. Wow. I don't know how, pero I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was going to ask you how. But when you started your blog, where was your blog? Was it on a... On heyitsay.com. It's on the web. Heyitsay.com is there. And, you know, I, I, just, I would just blog pag may time talaga ako. And then my vlog is on YouTube at Say Alonzo. Paminsan-minsan lang talaga. Ang hirap kasi mag-edit eh. I shoot and I edit and I have two kids. So, mahirap talaga. No, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know. So, mahirap. So, pag kailangan talaga, I ask the help of my husband na siya muna sa kids and then I'll do this, ganyan. You're saying you shoot, you're hands-on. You're a very hands-on mom, right? Two kids, mm-hmm. super-duper hands-on, and then you still create content. Yes. Galing. Amazing. Yes. Because, it's my, because it's my job now. It's, it's work and I love it. I love being a content creator. I'm so happy that I'm in this line of work right now. And uh, matagal ko na siya na-start. So, natutuwa ako that 
I'm so happy that a lot of people read it. Uh, a lot of people ask me advice, not just on Facebook, but also on Instagram. Not just people I don't know, but people who know me, friends, uh, family members. Oh, nag-post ka ng ganito, totoo ba tong ganito? Or, or oh, maganda pa talaga. I'm like, I don't post anything that hindi ko gusto. So, parang ganun. So, it's, it's, I'm super pranka, straightforward, PBB pa lang. Kasi siguro, I, I grew up in the States. Kaya ganun, ganun talaga. So, what you see is what you get. So, pag nag-review ako, totoo talaga yun. Pag nag-post ako, gusto ko talaga yun. Kasi there are some brands na lumalapit. Minsan, di ko, di ko talaga alam. Parang, paano ko gagamitin yan? Hindi ko, hindi ko alam. Kaya, kaya parang ayoko mag-promise na ganyan. Pero pag may mga like baby stuff or other stuff or kikai stuff, that's, that's sa tingin ko kaya ko, I'll do it. Instagram, I couldn't believe your numbers. My gosh, I, I really don't know how to get that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips for people on how to maximize Instagram? Or what would you say is the main purpose of Instagram? Because you say it's powerful. I want to learn how. Um, the, if, if you have a lot of followers on Instagram, of course, you can give your opinion about things. I guess that's why they call it influencing. But ayoko talaga magtawag na yun. So, yung content, uh, very important. You have to have good content. Make sure your pictures are good. Make sure your background is okay pag nag-take ka ng picture. Lighting is good. The picture is nice and crisp. Talagang high quality. Even the videos that you post. So that's the, the advice that I can give. And um, make sure that when you post something, it's authentic. It's, yeah. yun talaga. Well, don't be, there's, there's a lot of fakers out there on Instagram na parang ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Pero, <laughs> di pala talaga ganun yung buhay nila. Parang, I wanna make people think that I'm like this. Wala. Mahirap yun. Hindi, you will not be able to keep up with that. Lalo na ngayon, a lot of content creators are home. So, wala na yung palabas-labas nila. Wala na yung ganyan-ganyan. Mahirap talaga yun. So, you have to be authentic. You have to be unique. You have to be yourself. That's, that's, my, that's my advice. Okay. So, then how do you differentiate Instagram from Twitter? What would Twitter's purpose be naman? Twitter, Twitter kasi parang a few characters lang yung nandun eh. Like maybe one or two, uh, two or three sentences lang. So you really direct them pa to Facebook or Instagram para makita nila yung buong pinopromote ko. Pero Twitter, opinions. Definitely. Opinions. If you have an opinion about something, you can put it there. Make sure it's not controversial, ha? <laughs> <laughs> like ako, I have contracts talaga with brands na parang bawal ka talaga involved sa... Mga controversies, bawas, mga ganyan. So you really have to be careful. Say, um, most of the, um, my, my leaders, no, the people in my team, are actually, like you, they're hands-on, stay-at-home moms, no? Mm -hmm. Can you give them tips? Can you give them advice how to be productive, um, how to balance uh, work and, and being a mom? Okay, um, siguro work when at your most productive time ako pag tulog yung mga anak ko or sa gabi or weekends pag pwedeng mag-alaga yung asawa ko. And when I do Facebook lives like this, I make sure that I schedule it also with my husband so he can take care of the kids kasi wala nga kaming yaya. And I also, uh, advice ko rin is to blog or vlog or post about something that you love. Kasi if it's not something that you like, hindi mo gagalingan. Ako, I love what I'm doing. I love talking, kaya I like hosting, I like doing Facebook lives, I like taking nice pictures, kaya siguro mahal na mahal ko yung Instagram ko, talagang nagamit ko na talaga siya as work. So, kailangan gusto mo yung ginagawa mo para sobrang passionate ka about it. Okay, can I see what phone do you use for creating all your Oh, no, I have a, this is my phone. It's just an iPhone 8, yeah, that 8 Plus. Okay. Dati pa to, two years ago or three years ago. And then I have a camera. I use a, a Fujifilm X-A7. Wow. I'm, a, I'm an ambassador for that, so. Ah, okay. All right. Do you have <laughs> ring lights, microphones? Um, have um, I have a mic. It's, that's a, nandun sa camera ka. It's not here. And I have a ring light I'm using now para magandang lighting ko. Maganda ba? Yeah, <laughs> so very nice. I have, I have a ring light para fresh ako sa inyong lahat. And um, yun. So you gotta, you have to, if you wanna be like a content creator, syempre, invest in equipment. Pero, if you're just starting, just use what you have. And yeah. if you're gonna take photos, I started with a phone. 
if you look at my Instagram post from like years ago, I started with a phone. I just made sure na nasa labas ako nagtitake ng pictures para magandang ilaw. I I really um I I seldom post pictures na gabi or letting wala masyadong light kasi hindi masyadong maganda pag gabi unless gusto ng brand na gabi siya tinake. Okay. So they have different requirements. And you've been creating content for how many years now? Uh, since 2000 on the blog 2013. Okay, wow. And how often do you post every day? Uh, I try to, my best to post two or three times a week, but you're if you're really like a a content creator na talagang heavy duty sila three times a day. Wow. Sila talaga on Instagram. Pero ako, two, two, three times a week lang talaga. Tinatry, pero stories palagi. Tinatry, Facebook palagi. Pero sa Instagram, it's really curated. If, if you, I don't know if you could, I try to make it curated. If you check my feed, if you check the grid, I don't know if you, if you can do it now. You can go to my page and you can check the grid. It's, it's, I try for it to be curated posts na nagma-match din siya ng the whites, clear, bright photos. Yeah. So you can look at the photos. Terno, terno, dapat siya lahat. So when you look at it as a whole, maganda siya tignan. I like your hair here. Thank yeah. you. That was outside. <laughs> but, yeah. So how are you holding up during the quarantine? Is it very different now? with quarantine than regular, I mean, before quarantine, because, you know, being a hands-on, stay-at-home mom, it's really... Uh, it's different much... now, because I can't have, like, I used to have someone who's helping me, tapos weekends siya pwede mag-help, pero ngayon, bawal na siya pumunta dito, kasi baka, kasi may quarantine siya, baka may virus din siya, kasi, di ba, magko-commute siya, she might get something, so, wala, walang nag-help talaga sa amin, since Feb. Say, one of my advocacies really is woman empowerment. Uh, do you have any advice for Filipino women or just women all over the world, no? On how to take control of their lives and how to be empowered. How to be empowered? Oh my gosh, parang binibining Pilipinas question tayo. No, I mean, one thing, one thing that you've repeated many, many times now, which I really appreciate is you're straightforward. And oh, yeah. I find that most are not, no? Uh, has being straightforward gotten you in trouble or is it open doors for you? Sometimes it got me in trouble, but then <laughs> I own up. I own up to it because, you know, it's my opinion. It's really what I said. Um, and it's how I felt at the time. And I'm not going to say, I'll say, okay, sorry, but that's really how I feel about it. Um, I think I, when I make a mistake, I, I own up to it. Uh, that's what one of, one of the things that my Lola told, taught me when she was still alive na pag may gagawin ka, make sure na paninindigan mo yon. So, yun. Di ako, no, I'm not a lot, di ako masyadong nagko-cover up ng mga kung ano-ano. This is really me. Um, it's been, I've been like this ever since I was born. PBB, if you're a PBB fan ng season one, you know, ganta talaga ako. Uh, how can women be empowered ngayon? You just have to really be true to yourself and use that. You have to, hindi kasi pwede maging, I, I wanna be like this, so parang, I'm, parang i-adapt ko yung ganyan. Parang kailangan, kung ano ka, yun yung, ay, parang PBB, pakita mo kung sino yeah. ka talaga. Pakita. Yeah. <laughs> so, pakita mo talaga kung sino ka talaga and panindigan mo yun. And then, when you do something, you have to think a lot kung tama ba siya or hindi. Pero kung nakapag-decision ka na na yun talaga yung gagawin mo, aba, gotta own up to that. And make sure also, don't put other people down. Like, I I also noticed na yung mga ibang moms kasi na parang, oh, dapat ganito, dapat ganito. No, we should, you know, we're women, we're mommies. We should lift each other up. Dapat, you know, if we have, we can have different opinions, but we should still support each other and we shouldn't, we shouldn't bash people. We should respect each other. Parang opinion yan, opinion ko to, pero sige. Friends pa rin tayo. Kasi it's happening now, especially when you look on Facebook about mga government stuff, politics, um, all the stuff. Parang ang daming, sobrang daming negative stuff, even on Instagram. So we don't need that right now. We are moms. Dapat positive lang tayo palagi. Kung opinion niya yon, respetuhin natin siya. Huwag natin siyang i-bash or huwag natin siyang i-down. 
I love it. Now, there's one more thing I want to cover now before we wrap up. You've also said, this is me, this is me, this is me. How did you find out who you were? Oh, how did I find out? Many Siguro, people don't know, you know, I mean, who they are. They, they're like, I need to find myself. But when I talk to you and as I get to know you, you very well know who you are and you're very comfortable with yourself. I found out Siguro sa PBB. Kasi, yeah, I found out na parang, this is me, accept me or don't accept me, bahala ka sa buhay mo, pero <laughs> this is me, na-accept ko na yung sarili ko matagal na. If you don't like me, that's your problem, but I'm still, I'm still here, I'm gonna be living for, for myself and for my family and friends, for people who like me. Now, if, if, yun nga, if ayaw mo sa akin, problema mo na yan. So, bahala ka, hindi kita po problemahin. Una-una, inisip ko dati ito eh, una-una, you don't pay me, so, <laughs> yeah, but if somebody pays you, then call time. Bahala ka pa rin. Yeah, no, but I mean, let's say 6 a.m. call time. Okay, okay. I say, I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, but but this is just me. I mean, of course, if someone pays you and it's your job, you gotta own up to it. You yeah. gotta be there at 6 or before 6. That's owning up to it. That's being responsible, you know. You gotta be, you gotta do what you gotta do and you signed up for that. So, ganun talaga. Pero if people nga don't like you and everything, problema na talaga nila yun. And dapat talaga sure ka sa sarili mo kasi kung hindi ka sure, malaking problema yun. Paano, how will you do things right? And how will you do, take care of yourself? Or how, pwede ba kung hindi ka sure sa mga bagay-bagay? I love it. And the, the other thing I also appreciate about you, you don't apologize for being yourself. No, you are you. And I, I saw it on your Twitter and I was looking. My opinion, my wall, you don't like it? <laughs> unfollow. <laughs> unfollow. You don't like it, unfollow me. Exactly. Okay, any last, I, I really enjoyed this conversation today. Any last words of inspiration for the people watching? Hi, everybody. I hope you guys are having fun. Having fun at home, even if we're just staying home. Be safe palagi. My advice for you guys is, you know, Always think of how you're going to make yourself happy because, and how you're going to love yourself. Because if you don't make yourself happy and if you don't love yourself, how can you give that happiness and that love to the people around you? Kailang, di ba sabi nga nila sa aeroplano, put your mask on first bago sa ibang tao? Kasi pag di mo ginawa yung sarili mo, mamatay ka, di ba? Bago mo siya pa siya matulungan. Kung siya muna, siya na lang, patay ka na, di ba? So katulad din yun sa aeroplano, katulad din yun sa buhay, kailangan sarili mo muna yung mahalin mo at pasayahin mo para mabigay mo yung same things na yun sa iba. Man, this has been a really nice interview. I'm so glad you shared with the team. I'm sure. Um, do you want to invite the, the team where to follow you, um, where to, to, to catch you? Yes, please follow me on Instagram at Say Alonzo. And I also have a Twitter at Say Alonzo, YouTube at Say Alonzo, and my blog and Facebook page is Hey It's Say. Thank you yes. so much.